In this video, we will consider one example on source transformation and shifting. Using source transformation and source shifting, find voltage across 2 ohm resistor. Here we have 2 ohm resistor. We are supposed to find voltage across 2 ohm resistor, that is V. So in this example, we should begin with source shifting. So source shifting can be done in two ways. Here we have current source, so we can do the current shifting. And here we have voltage source, we can do a voltage source shifting. So I will start with voltage source shifting. Now I will show you how to shift the voltage source. Connect this 3 ohm register as it is. Here we have 1 ohm register. I will connect it as it is. There is a current source of 2 amp. Connect it as it is. Here we have 2 ohm voltage source. So now this voltage source of 3 volt is connected to 4 ohm register in series. As well, we are supposed to connect 3 volt voltage source in series with 3 ohm register separately. I will show here. This is 4 ohm register and this is 3 volt voltage source. It is connected in series with 4 ohm register. Similarly, same voltage source is connected in series with 3 ohm register. 3 volt. The nodes. Let this be A node, this is B node, this is C node and this is D node. Here D node is a reference node or ground node. Here at node C, voltage source is connected. To node C, two more branches are connected. One is 4 ohm register and another one is 3 ohm register. So the volt voltage source should be connected to these two registers separately as I have done here. Let me call this as A node, this is B node and this is D node. Now to the C node I have connected voltage sources. Now I will try to reduce this circuit. Here we can see that 3 volt voltage source and 3 ohm register which are connected in series in between the points A and D because these all points are same as these all are shorted. Now instead of connecting in this way I will connect in another way. Here I will draw. This is 2 amp current source. I will connect as, as it is. Here there is 1 ohm register. Here we have 2 ohm register. The 4 ohm register. And here we have 3 volt voltage source. I will connect it as it is. So here we can see that 3 volt voltage source which is in series with 3 ohm register is connected between point A and point D that is node A and node D. So here we can see that this point is also node D, this point is also node D as well this point is node D because all are shorted. So all this point is D itself. So now therefore I will connect this 3 ohm register and 3 volt between node A and this is node D which is same as the previous one like this. So this is 3 volt and this is 3 ohm. So now these two circuits are same. So now I will try to simplify this further. We, here we can see that 3 ohm register and 3 volt. Here we can see that 3 ohm and 3 volt are in series. I will try to convert this into current source by applying source transformation. I will draw the circuit here. Here we know that V is equal to IR. Therefore, I is equal to V by R. Voltage V is 3. Register value is 3. So the magnitude of current source is 1 amp. So now I will take 1 amp current source. So this register will come in parallel with 1 ohm current source. 
this is the way of converting voltage source into current source now the remaining circuit i will connect as it is this is 2 amp current source i will connect as it is here there is one ohm resistor rest all components i will connect as it is here there is a 3 volt voltage source is in series with 4 ohm resistor i will convert this voltage source into current source that is here also we can see that i is equal to v by r v is 3 register value is 4 so the magnitude of current source is 3 by 4 so so this is 2 ohm now i will connect I will convert this into current source. So this register will come in parallel with current source. This is 4 ohm and the current source I will connect here in parallel. The magnitude of the current source is 3 by 4. 3 by 4 amps. Now further I will try to reduce this circuit. Here we can see that 1 amp current source and 2 amp current source are in parallel. I can replace these two by single current source of magnitude 3 amp because both are having in same direction. I will redraw the circuit here. That is 1 amp current source and 2 amp current source is replaced by resultant current source that is 3 amp. As both directions are same it will be added up. Now this 3 ohm register will appear as it is in parallel with this. So the remaining circuit I will connect as it is. This is 1 ohm and 2 ohm. This is 2 ohm. And here we have 4 ohm. So this is V that we supposed to calculate. So this is 4 ohm. Here we have current source of magnitude 3 by 4 amp that is nothing but 0.75 amp. Zero point seven five amps. Now here further I can reduce this circuit as here 3 amp current source and 3 ohm registers are in parallel. I can convert this current source into voltage source so that the register will come in series with the voltage source further this 1 ohm register will come in series with 3 ohm register so that we can simplify very easily so i will convert this current source into voltage source so direction of current is upward so this is plus and this is minus that is at the end of the arrow mark is plus tail end of the arrow mark is minus as we know i is equal to as we know v is equal to i r so v is equal to i is 3 amp into r is 3 the magnitude of voltage source is 9 volt this register will come in series with this that is 3 ohm rest all circuit will be as it is this is 1 ohm and here we have 2 ohm register there is a V here and here we have 4 ohm and here we have current source of 0 0.75 amp here this voltage source and these two registers that is the sum of this these two register is nothing but 4 ohm so this voltage source i will convert this into current source that is i is equal to v by r v is 9 and r is 4 which is 2.25 so further i can represent this as the 
the magnitude of current source is 2.25 now this 4 ohm resistor will come in parallel with this this is 4 ohm and this 2 ohm will exist as it is this is 2 ohm and this is 4 ohm and here we have 0 0.75 amp current source plus minus V that we supposed to calculate. So further I will simplify here. So now in this circuit, this 4 ohm and this 4 ohm are in parallel. I can replace these two register by single register. Similarly, 2.25 amp current source and 0 0.75 amp current source are in parallel. I can replace these two current source by single current source. That is 2.25 and 0 0.75. Both are in same direction. So the magnitude of resultant current source is 2.25 plus 0 0.75. That is 3 amp. I will draw the current source of magnitude 3 amp. Now this 4 ohm and this 4 ohm are in parallel. So I can find the equivalent resistance as 4 into 4 divided by 4 plus 4. That is 16 by 8 which is nothing but 2 ohm. So this 2 ohm register will come in parallel with this. This is 2 ohm. Now this 2 this 2 ohm I will connect as it is. So this is 2 ohm where this is plus and this is minus. So now further <coughs> now we supposed to calculate voltage across 2 ohm register. First, let's calculate the current through 2 ohm register that is I. Now, by applying current division rule, I is equal to total current into opposite resistor. Opposite resistor is 2 that is opposite to this resistor is 2 divided by sum of these two registers that is the current division rule so simplifying this i will get 6 by 4 that is 3 by 2 which is 1.5 amp so therefore the current through 2 ohm register is 1.5 ohm, ohm therefore voltage across 2 ohm register is 2 into i that is v is equal to 2 into 1.5 therefore v is equal to volt. This is the voltage across 2 ohm register and this is solved using source transformation and source shifting. Thank you for watching.